Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host Zelot, and we are here today on the Iron Man Season 6 series. We're trying to follow along unofficially with the uh, official competitors and uh, not break any of the rules and not die. Because if you die, you're out. So, huge. <clears throat> um, today, let's finish mining off this little bit of sathium, and then we're going to warp to somewhere to find some magnesium, because I've already... Let's take a look here. I have a bunch of zascosium. We've got a little bit of sath, that's all, okay. Well, we've got some neo, stack and a half, that'll be like three, four, okay. Well, we might have enough. We might have enough. Um, I got a whole ton of a restroom, though. Whole ton. Where are we at with that? I put a bunch, so there's a whole bunch to uh, go into the, oh yeah, some more Zascosium too. So I think we're going to be pretty good on Zascosium and a restroom for a while. <clears throat> Let's finish this here. So easy enough in the CV to, to do some mining. We'll just uh, jump in the turret. Clean this up. So you can see how fast the CV mines. It it might not look like it, it's just that it's deceivingly the object that you see is not as close as it appears. <laughs> So it's, it's actually uh, a pretty good distance and a lot larger than you might think. And it would take us a lot longer to dig this out with the T2 hand drill, trust me. The CV drill is much faster. The only thing faster than a CV drill is six of the hover vessel laser drills. With six of them in combination, they can outdrill a CV, but not by much. I mean, CVs are really fast. <clears throat> okay. Almost got it. Come on. Is that it? Is that it? Yeah, it's looking like it now, right? Yeah, okay. So, I think what we'll do now is, oh, there's a, there's a nugget here still. Hang on, I can't, I can't leave any of this right now because I need it so bad. <clears throat> if this was just a regular series and I wasn't in an Iron Man competition, I think I'd probably just leave it at this, but, because uh, I can get it from all the multi-tooling down combat POIs, right? And I've got three of those to multi-tool down still those uh, calm centers. Let's take a look how close we are. We need to go down a little bit. Okay. We can come in a little bit closer. And we'll jump in the drill. <coughs> and oh, I just, I'll just get low enough here. Yeah, I can't move the drill any lower. It doesn't, um, it doesn't point down hardly at all, so keep that in mind when you're when you're positioning yourself in front of the ore. You pretty much want to have your drill level with the bottom of the area that you're going to start mining, and then just start mining up. I guess it's probably the easiest way to figure out where uh, where your drill can start from. Okay, we've almost got this done, and then we'll we'll go to another sector in search of some magnesium. <clears throat> I 
Okay. There we go. There we go. I think that's it now. You can see it's actually quite a big hole it just dug out. When you think about it, it would have fit that the entire cockpit of the ship in there, right? So I've already dug the rest of this thing out, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A oh, little little chunks. I'm not gonna worry about those right now. Okay, since I since I mined it out, let's go into here and rename it. Name it done and get rid of the waypoint. Okay. Okay, so that's another one done. I think uh, that's it for this sector. Let's check out where we should go now. Okay, so not really feeling the asteroid field. I'm thinking back to Skillen. And then over to Adis. Let's do that. And it's down here. Yeah, yeah. There we go. <laughs> this ship's not very fast. I'll have to rectify it if I plan on using it for any sort of combat maneuvers. Okay, so we don't really... Um, well, I mean... This place potentially has Neo, Sath, Prometheum. Neo and Sath in the, I could hunt for more Neo and Sath, but that's really close to a cool. I think we need to go get some magnesium, right? We, we need my magnesium and they don't have any here. <clears throat> None. None. So let's go to Aetis. Let's go to Aetis. Here we go. <sighs> Lava planet. Okay. Oh, nice. Pretty. A nice ring. So. Oh. Maybe it's not a. Is that a, a alien planet? No, it's lava. Okay. Uh, magnesium. On the planet, magnesium. Hmm. Zascosium, gold, arrestrium. You know, there's no magnesium out in space, though. Uh, mass prawn. Let's, let's try there. Okay, so we know there's potentially magnesium on the planet Aetis. Don't know how much, but potential. Okay. <clears throat> it's a lava planet, so it's it's kind of a pain in the ass to mine lava planets. I want to avoid it. I just want to avoid it. It's it's just kind of difficult. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna put myself in unnecessary risk, right? Because if I die, uh, game over. That's it. It's done. So let's check out Masperon. Oh, let's fill that up. Might as well fill up everything while I'm at it. Okay. Heck, while I'm at it, let's eat something too. Uh, where are we? Where's my fridges? Here we go. Eat one of my hundreds of yeah, it's a nice thing about having a whole bunch of meat and tomatoes. Okay. We're out of here. Okay, that's a ugly looking planet and moon. <clears throat> so... Uh, and they both have water on them. That's a, that's really cool. So they're both just planets, really. They're not... I mean, one's called a moon, isn't it? But... Okay, so Masperon, not breathable. Uh, super dense. Double the atmospheric density. 
Oh no, no, actually it's no, no, no. Uh, no, that's about normal, isn't it? That's a Kua. Oh yes, yeah, it is double the atmospheric density. I thought it was, okay. It looked pretty heavy. And then what was its, um, what was its gravity? 1.3, so it's almost the same gravity, so it's not gonna, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make it really fuel consuming to, to land a CV there. I'm just not sure if I want to. Okay, so what do we got here? We've got copper, cobalt, promethium, iron, and zascosium in orbit, okay? On the planet, we have iron, copper, promethium, cobalt, arrestrum, magnesium with arrestrum depletion. Okay, so magnesium on the planet and magnesium on the moon. <clears throat> hmm. With arrestrum deple depre the, uh, depletion for both. Okay. Nice to, if, if we could find magnesium in space. I'm not sure if that actually happens. And we can tell it, we can go all the way to the trading outpost from here. That's trippy. That's trippy. That's an expensive uh, jump. Wow. But still, in one jump all the way to there, that's, that's unusual. It's probably cheaper than probably cheaper than going like this, right? Yeah. Okay. Um well let's go to one of these. <sighs> Difficulty ultra. Nice. Moon doesn't have a difficulty? What be cre or I think there is creatures on the moon, right? Because it's got it's got water. Yeah, I think there's creatures on there. Unforgiving conditions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Let's check out the moon. Let's check out the moon. off and let it coast we can just drift and look at the stars I like being able to turn the brakes off at uh, it makes it it makes it so that you don't have to set up special thruster groups to to turn off your frontward brakes which you used to have to do um, what was that? Alpha six, alpha five, alpha five. Uh, now it's just becoming a blur. Okay, we're getting closer. I guess I should have been looking for asteroids to just kind of appear out of nowhere, out of thin air. Those are usually the ones that are the uh, the. Um, Oh, sorry, I'm getting distracted by the uh, <laughs> looking for asteroids. Anyway, the, the ones that have resources on them are the ones that kind of just appear in thin air. Okay, so let's turn our brakes back on. Um, <clears throat> I think we need to come down right over. Wow, these asteroids are like almost in the moon's atmosphere, right? That's kind of trippy. So we're going to come down over water usual strategy. Nice purple haze there. Okay. You know what? You know what? This this is probably stupid. Let's let's double think this. Let's rethink this. If I take I don't think I want to take my CV down there. No, I think about it. 
I, I don't think I want to take my CV down there. I have no idea if there's any sort of patrols or anything that come out here, so let's just head out where there's no asteroids. We don't have to get too far out here. I just... I know once I leave the play field, it deloads, it, and and my stuff can't get attacked. It's just that uh, for the time that I'm flying back and forth, I mean, who knows? I could, you know. That five minutes trying to fly back to my ship can can do a lot of damage to a ship if it's getting there getting pounded. Um. You know what? Let's just let's just let's just go here. Let's just go here. So I'm gonna make sure that I have my Eva boost on because I gotta go climb up into the SV. It's kind of kludgy right now. We're gonna we're gonna change that eventually, but it is what it is. Um, let's grab some food. So we'll just um, grab half a stack there. I guess I should put that in the constructor. So we're doing pretty good. Uh, you can see, oh yeah, I, I looted a whole bunch of thrusters, or well, multi-tooled a whole bunch of thrusters into parts uh, from the... CV on Oscatoon because while I was mining Arrestrium uh, and going around exploring and, and at uh, POI it showed up while I was at a POI at the civilian POI I forget which one and was was hammering away at my ship because unfortunately when as soon as it gets in your radar the red dot all it's in range of its big weapons and that's what it was shooting it was shooting these big freaking it wasn't shooting its tiny little sentry guns it was shooting big weapons down and hitting my my uh, bug eye bus luckily i was able to run over jump in the bus and get into the air before it actually popped any blocks off the bus so so i was able to recover from that uh, thank God I always look at my radar because any, you know, a few seconds longer and I don't think my, my SV would have lasted. Well, do we have enough on us? Let's just take a look really quick here. We've got lots of fuel, O2, we'll have food. We've got lots of drill charges. We just repaired the drill so it should be good. <clears throat> We've got ammo. For both guns. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're fine. We've got some uh, medical stuff. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's go. Okay. So. Yeah, this is a little... Sometimes... The box top is a little kludgy, I must admit, but that's just the way it is. Okay, so let's go back over to that body of water up there. And whoa, is my brakes turned off? No? Okay, there we go. That was kind of weird. Not 
not see any POIs. Okay, so Arrestra Magnesium right there. Right there. Oh, a good chunk of it too. Okay, I think we're I think we're we're gonna do good here. Let's take these guys out. Large plasma. Nice. Okay, so I'm assuming this planet, or moon, or whatever you want to call it, has a patrol vessel on it, because it looks like there's plan- I think it- I think it has a patrol vessel. I think it has a patrol vessel, okay. So, that's cool, there's plants- they call it a moon, but it's- yeah, there's critters. See that? There's a spider right there right there. Okay. And, oh, oh, I thought I saw something flying. Okay. Uh, let's, let's actually check these large plasma drones really quick, I think. I think I want to see if they have anything decent. Whoa. Let's, um, <laughs> jump back in. Just spawn our drone while we'll jump a little bit. Okay. Yeah, not a bad haul, actually. Good mix of everything. And I'm not going to be able to reach that. Okay. So let's get this one. If I can, I should be able to. some purple haze. Okay. Um, let's do it. Let's do this. So, spawn the drone. Get our radar back, just, just in case. Right? Actually, I'm gonna close my hatch. Just, just in case a spider decides to get up in there or something. You know, I don't know. A drone comes by. We might get some replacement drones, right? So, uh, we're going to have to watch for that. In the meantime, let's get this going here. So, we can see... Oh, there's lots of nuggets right at the surface here. Nice. Okay, good. So hopefully we can um, extract this really quickly here. Kind of a boring part of the game for a lot of people, obviously. It's a little bit grindy. But it is part of the game. I haven't built any auto miners yet because I just didn't have the resources for it. But I will now, so when I get back I'll probably build some and go throw those out somewhere. Okay, so we've still got a couple of weeks to go. Being optimistic, optimistic that I can get past the next hurdle mission. We got so far 239. That's pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna get some missiles out of this. I'll be able to make the guided missile launchers for the bug eye bus, update the bus's engines, it's going to be good. 
It's going to be good. I don't know what we're up against for the end mission yet, so I'm I'm a little hesitant on on bringing in a combat CV yet because I don't really know what we we need to do, like what the, the the parameters of it are. Surviving, we're out in space. Planetary vessel on Oscatoon did not get us. In fact, we got it. Unfortunately, that was off camera, but um, it was a little bit tense time there. I, that was um, that was dangerous because if if he had taken out my SV, I don't think I would have had the mats to. to Build, build another one. So I don't think I had any silicone at all. It would have been difficult. I would have had to like multi-tool down the the. Well, I could have multi-tooled down a um, POI and built a real cheap SV that I have and got back to my. Yeah, I could have survived. I could have survived. It would have been a setback, but I could have survived. Chunk, 204 all on its own. going to go a long way to, for survivability, I think, in the final round, if I can get all this magnesium. I have a feeling it's going to have to be very surgical combat, and for that, I'm going to need guided missiles. Guided rockets, homing rockets. I don't know. <laughs> okay, getting there. So, what are we at? What are we at? Nice. Stack and a half. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Good. Getting all twisted around in these catacombs of mine shafts. Always keeping my eye on the radar. I pretty much hardly even look at what I'm doing. I'm looking at the radar so much. <sighs> I like games that make you feel nervous. <laughs> I don't know why. I guess it makes you feel alive. I can use that some days. Okay. I think we're going to need all of this, to tell you the truth. I think, I think we're actually going to need to mine this out. It wasn't really what I intended to show this video, mining out magnesium. Um, Sorry guys.
kind of boring, I know. Oh, looks like it's pooping that one out. Come on. Before the planetary vessel shows up, come on. Come on. Pop that boulder. Pop that nugget. Come on. There we go. Get it. Yes. That was a nice one. Okay. Two and a bit stacks. Good. Halfway. <clears throat> okay. Oh, this is this is such needed stuff right now because it was just so hard to get. I see there's a bunch of competitors already knocked out um, due to various reasons I guess <laughs> you should be going you guys should go check out their uh, the links are all in the video so go check out their their sites and see what happened to them yeah mission 2 mission 2 videos I was a little bit surprised that so many people got knocked out, actually, on that uh, POI raid. Um, well, in actual fact, a couple of people died not even doing that, so... They didn't even get to start the raid, they just, uh, they, they died gathering resources and stuff like that. It's like multi-tooling the Titan and gets sneak attacked by a drone. And yeah. Yeah. Games like this teach you to be vigilant. Always pay attention to your surroundings and, and keep yourself alert. good to be alert. The world need, needs more alerts. <clears throat> okay, we're almost getting there. I think we're we'll head over to the To a tomato farm once we get this dug up. Come on. Come on, I'm expecting the CV, the planetary vessel, to show up any second now. Okay, that was a good one. Three full stacks. Getting there, getting there. Okay. Sometimes navigating your way back out of these catacombs that you dig is kind of crazy. I usually just despawn my drone and dive back in. OK. 
Okay, this is awesome. What are we at? We are at just just over three stacks. Nice. That means this will get depleted pretty quick here. I think it was 3,300, right? Where's the magnesium? 3,300, yep. So it's almost done. She's that pink. Just freaks me out. It's so bright and pink. Okay. Come on. Last couple nuggets. I mean, really, what I should do is find another one altogether, too, and mine that out. And I think I will do that off camera. things that you've already dug yet, so you just gotta plow through the wall, or plow through the dirt to them, that's just all there is to it. Hmm, did I run out of oxygen? What the hell's going on here? What the heck? Oh, it's turned off. That's not cool. Let's um, open that so I can see that. Okay. Okay. Let's get our drone back. We'll reclose this. see the planetary vessel anywhere. left. Almost. Okay, good enough. <laughs> That's like, there it is. Three, 330. 3,300, I should say. Close enough. Okay, so let's... Although there's a nugget right there, isn't there? Is that the nugget right there? Just to finish this off, I'm fine. Fine. I'll dig it then. I'll get that nugget. Okay, almost. <laughs> there, there we 
getting it there? No. There it is. Uh, 11? Meh. Okay. Okay, let's go home. Let's go home. Back to the CV. Yeah, I know I'm leaving a little chunk of a restroom, but I've got five or six full stacks to be smelted still, so I think I'm okay. Okay. Well, we survived that by the look of it. We're going to get out of here without the CV finding us and killing us. So that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome. Okay, let's go back over to our ship. And it's on the around the curve of the planet here. Whoa. <laughs> let's not bash into the uh that could have been bad if I went through there. I could have got trapped. That was kind of weird. That was right out in space. I did not realize that it came right out into the orbit like that. Interesting. There it is. Okay, well, it looks like it's all intact still, so I would say this was successful. Unless I smash into it and blow us both up. And we'll just get down here and get reattached. Okay, let's jump out, yeah, yeah, uh, jetpack, and, and we're okay, 1.30, it says we're okay, so we have our EVA on, yes, okay, okay, I don't see anything around, so let's get out, okay, okay. Whoops. And nice, back in the vessel. Feel a little safer when I'm when I've got some metal surrounding me. Okay, now we start our long trek home. So let's do this. We you know what? Let's do this. So we'll go into here and we'll make sure that this is full. And we will turn towards the sector lock or whatever you want to call it, target lock. And boot it. Okay, so what does this have? This has Sathium and Pentaxid. Oh, good to know. There's Aestus down there. Pentaxid. Huh. Because you kind of need, well, maybe I'll head back there again. That's a real short little jump from Akua. That's a real short little jump from Akua. Yeah, I can do that from Akua and get that Pentaxid. Okay, we are back and you can see the ones that I've mind out there um well success we're back in akua's orbit 
we I'm sure we'll be fine flying back down to the base and throwing everything in the factory and I can do all that off camera so this was great we survived yay we got all our we got all of our mats that we need and that's huge that's huge now we can start focusing on um, maybe checking out our next mission and that was the um, on the moon uh, the support base support base yes I think it's called the support base so I've already found it on the moon we'll just have to go suss it out and uh, uh, we can pop like the turrets off it with the SV and you know maybe start poking around inside um, you know we'll we'll see we'll see but um we've still we've got till we've got till wednesday to post a video of doing that so i think we're okay still we've got a few days here we don't have to rush that yet unless it's really tough so i will be check, check, checking it out pretty quick just just in case it's going to be like some hellacious thing because i don't even i don't know i don't know the support base at all i don't think so that could be a really nasty wake up call if if I can't get it done by Wednesday. <laughs> so um, we'll go check that out pretty quick here and we'll make sure it's doable. And until then, guys, if you like this episode, give me a like. Um, when you subscribe to the site, if you want notifications, make sure that the no notification is turned on and then you'll be notified when i post the next video so next episode i think we're going to i think we're going to trick out the sv and get it prepped for the next mission yeah time to sink some material into the sv make it uh, even better uh, it's not bad right now but but I can I can make it better than it is and and we're gonna do that so we'll have some uh, better rocket launchers we'll have um, better thrusters uh, it should it should uh, have pack more punch and uh, get us out of situations quicker so I think that'll give us an edge on the next POI if I do that so definitely that I, I am going to be doing that and I think we'll do that for the next video we'll just um, I'll, I'll get everything all ready to go and then uh, uh, we'll do that so yeah stay tuned we'll uh, get the bug eye bus into combat shape and go check out what we maybe take out the turrets you know test the rocket launchers something like that we'll see Anyway, guys, um, until then, you guys have yourselves an awesome, awesome day. <laughs>